I'm Peter at Switch to Wood. I want to have a look at the wiring of the fibro dimming pack and the push to make switches we supply in our uh, Bakelite range. So I'll start by saying uh, make sure you're turned off at the consumer unit, everything is safe, there's no voltage present where you're going to be working on your wiring. Um, if you're not sure about what you're doing, please get someone who is competent, qualified to do it for you. Okay, we'll start at the beginning. This is our cable in here from the consumer unit and this is the cable that will go on to subsequent lighting circuits. This one here clearly goes to your lamps, could be a series of GU10s in your kitchen ceiling. And these here are the wires that link three switches in this case, it could be just one, it could go on to four or five. So it's pretty straightforward. From your consumer unit here, the live comes into a connector block and back out to your next circuit and you take a, a live link to the dimming pack to the terminal marked L. Now with your neutrals, your two neutrals go together, your wire coming in and your wire going out, you loop in and you loop out. And the third wire there is to the lamp. The return wire from your lamp, the brown one here, goes into the variable output symbol there. Okay, so that's that side of it. On the switch side, you'll possibly be retrofitting, so you may have three core cable. If you do, just use two cores, and the switches are simply wired in parallel to each other. One, two, three. And then from your, your switch here, on this the first box, the brown goes to SX, and the blue, in this case, to S1. Don't forget the link between N and SX, absolutely essential to correct function. Now if you can, if you can put a 47mm deep box where all this lot's going, makes life easier. On your subsequent boxes, 25s will be fine. So what we're doing now is we'll plug in, we'll put some mains on this. When you first power up, it takes a little while for things to happen. But this unit talks to the lamps, senses what type of loads on there, and adjusts itself accordingly. It may flash once, in this case it's doing it three times depending on the type of load. There we go, coming up the full load and then it will switch itself off in a minute. That's set. Now what we can do now is we can turn on from any of them, we can turn off from any of the switches on the circuit. As I say, this may just be one switch, it could be five. If you hold the switch down, it will dim down. And that's the beauty of this unit, you can dim from any of the switches on the circuit. There you go, coming back up to full brightness, and we can turn off on that one. It's pretty straightforward, we supply a schematic wiring diagram with the unit. It's got its original uh, manufacturer's instructions in there as well. I um, hope that makes things a bit clearer.